everybody. Hey, hippos. Hey. So, yeah, inside joke. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting kind of old. I, I noticed that I started getting gray hairs all along my edges. So, I got this stuff, right? It's called Gray Away. It's a spray. It's supposed to cover up all your gray, right? So I got some and I sprayed it like all around my edges. And I was like, ooh, I look good. I said, they'll never know. I went to a party. I was in there killing it. What, what, dropping it like it's hot. Halfway through that party, all that stuff was gone. <laughs> Sweat it out. I went to that party young and cute. Came out old as hell. <laughs> my friend saw all that gray. She said, ooh, what happened? I said, girl. That party stressed me out. <laughs> so I was shopping earlier in um, CVS, you know, just like browsing around. You know what I noticed? They have home tests for everything now. They got pregnancy tests, HIV tests, DNA tests. I saw a home drug test. Now how does that work? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure you know if you're on drugs. <laughs> you ain't gonna be in a store like, I wonder if I'm a crackhead. <laughs> Let me just grab one of these and I'm gonna go find out. <laughs> this lady outside of CVS, she came up to me. She said, excuse me, miss, do you have an extra dollar? Who the hell got extra dollars? <laughs> I was in there just counting my money. 19, 20, 21, 21? Oh, hell no. Where'd this extra dollar come from? <laughs> I don't even want this one. Here, you want it? You know, I hate when those extra dollars be getting all in my way. Making my wallet too tight. I didn't even dignify her with a response to that question. I'm broke as hell. I ain't got money to just be giving out to people. This homeless man was shaking a cup full of change in my face. I said, now you just showing off. <laughs> I'm so broke, I window shop at the supermarket. They're like, excuse me, miss, can we help you find something? No, thanks. I'm just looking. <laughs> you ever be so broke you get jealous of people's pets? <laughs> that dog probably ate twice today. <laughs> he ain't even got no job. I love LA, man. It's, it's different here than it is in New York, where I'm from, because. New York is, like, L.A. is laid back, and New York is really fast-paced. Like, everybody's always rushing. It's always rush hour in New York. So when I came out here, I was still in that most. I was just looking crazy, just rushing everywhere, like, excuse me, excuse me. People were like, what the? But I've been in L.A. for, like, two years, so I feel like I'm finally learning how to relax. But every once in a while, I notice myself doing it again. Like, I'm in New York mode. The other day, I was in the mall, just rushing from store to store. Like, excuse me, um, excuse me, why are y'all walking so slow? You see me trying to get to these stores. I saw this man going towards the escalator. I was like, oh, he thinks he's going to get on that escalator before me? I don't think so. I raced him to the escalator. I flew down the stairs. I got to the bottom. I said, ha, you tried it. He was looking like... I wasn't even in the mall for anything but a leisurely stroll. <laughs> I'm the only person that rushes while killing time. <laughs> I be going nowhere fast. I finally know what that means. <laughs> I was in the 99 cent store going off like, hello, y'all have five lanes. Why is only one open? Y'all need to get on your job. Let's go, let's go, let's go. My friend said, what you gotta do after this? I said, no, why? <laughs> I was watching Precious. She was doing an interview talking about she owes it all to her friend because her friend is the one who told her she should audition for the role of Precious. What kind of friend is that? <laughs> How do you propose something like that to your friend? Like, what do you say? Hey, you're big, black, and fat as hell. <laughs> You should go audition for Precious. Oh, girl, I know you'll get it. And what did she say back to that? Like, you know what? That's rude as hell. But you got a point. Let's go get this one. 
you gotta be careful what you say to people nowadays, you know, because everything's very sensitive now. Everybody's easily offended. Like, uh, my friend got mad at me because I called a person handicapped. She was like, you're not supposed to say handicapped. You're supposed to say disabled. Handicapped's not politically correct. And I started thinking, like, I think I'd rather be called handicapped than disabled. Because <laughs> disabled sound like they just gave up on you altogether. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're just not able. <laughs> At least handicapped sounds like you're able, just not too much. You know? Like, I'm handy, but there's a cap on it. <laughs> Um, do me a favor, follow me on Instagram at Brooklyn Jones Comedy. My name is Brooklyn Jones. Thank you so much.